Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another for another Jurassic World Evolution Mod Showcase! <laughs> yes, because I have four more Dinosaur King skins to show off. And yes, it has been a while since the last one, and well, I did say it would be. Because, <laughs> gotta make the skins, haven't I? And I got these four lovely skins to show off. I mean, there probably won't be much of a battle today, because, well, these two can't really battle. This guy will just kill this guy. But we are going to have something planned. We, I got something planned. We got a souped up Sukumimus in here, and he's going to go against pretty much all of the Dinosaur King carnivores I've made so far. So we have the Sorophaganax, the Carnotaurus, the Giga, nope, that's Mapusaurus, and that's Giganonosaurus, and Metriacamphosaurus. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh! Oh, oh yes, because I... <laughs> I'm making another skin, working on another skin right now, and I have to release Metriacamphosaurus to see what it looks like. Yes, next episode. Here's some hype for you next episode. It's Deinonychus. Well, this won't be Hararosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus. And this won't be Metriacamphosaurus. <laughs> yes, got quite a few episodes planned in advance, so we have... Well, you don't need to see them. Right. Let's get on with the releasing. We'll do the boring ones first, and we'll save Sukumimus for last. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Kamarasaurus. Yes, we have a Camarasaurus. Well, this one's pretty... This one literally took me like 20 minutes to make. It was so, it's quite easy, this one. You just have a, like an orange streak going throughout the body. And like a grey body. But yeah, that's Camarasaurus. Relatively, as I said, just said, relatively straightforward. Not too difficult to make. I should also point out that there may be a big game-changing moment that will happen with regards to modding in this game. And that is the fact that someone has found a way to add an entirely new creature to the game. Like, it's not official, but it's not like complete, complete, but someone has found a way to make separate models. So, you know, when you make them, when people make a mod, they replace dinosaurs that are in the game. So, for example, the Woolly Rhino mod replaces Taurosaurus. But now, people have found a way to have the Woolly Rhino as a separate tab by here. So you have Taurosaurus and the Woolly Rhino. I think that is huge because, well, the first thing I can think of I want to do is the Rhizniosaurus. The Rhizniosaurus mod replaces the Apatosaurus, which I don't want. I would much rather it replace um, this guy, Mimekisaurus. But now the Rhizniosaurus can be a separate model, so I can have both Apatosaurus and the Fairy. And that is huge. Which means I could pretty in theory, I could pretty much make every dinosaur in Dinosaur King. Just just imagine how awesome that sounds. But you name a dinosaur from Dinosaur King, I can make it. Like I've enjoyed doing this, but it, I have felt restricted in the fact that certain dinosaurs I can't do. Like, like, wind dinosaurs are a problem because, well, Hararosaurus, wherever it is, is literally the best thing to use. And I've used enough for something else which has certain markings, so I can't really use it for other wind dinosaurs. Anyway, that's enough blabbing about that, but yeah, having that is huge. And, well, grass dinosaurs as well, like, um... Lambiosaurus. I can make Lambiosaurus now. Like obviously, when it comes out into the into the public, not now, but when it, this whole separate model thing comes out, I'll have to learn how to do it as well. Hopefully, someone will make a tutorial for me. Anyway, moving on, we have the Diplodocus. However, this is not Diplodocus.
you've guessed it, if you haven't guessed it yet, this is the Super Saurus from the Super Impact Move card. I mean, it was either going to be Super Saurus or Seismosaurus. And looking at the two, I think Seismosaurus would have been significantly easier. However, the Seismosaurus does not have spikes on its back, but the Super Saurus does. So in the end, I went with Super Saurus. And yeah, I, th I think I did a really good job. I mean, the difficult part was this pattern in by here, because other than the body, I didn't, I couldn't really get a clear image of the pattern. So, especially around the tail and the head, I just had to make it up. I mean, there was a, the only good, the only like images of its head up closer, that of relatively poor quality. So, it was difficult to make this one. But yeah, it's looking good, looking very good. A bit fast, isn't he? <laughs> right, us now on the Sinteosaurus. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sinteosaurus. I honestly think this is probably one of the best skins I've actually made so far. I, I'm just so impressed with how well it turned out. Like, the green, I, I think I got the green spot on. I got, hell, I even got the crest spot on. Oh yeah, I should mention that I downloaded a mod online. The Sintosaurus mod online, which had the crest, like the unicorn shape. So that's why it's like that. I mean, I tried to do it myself, but <laughs> kind of turned out into a mess. So I appreciate, so I thank the person whose name I do not remember for making this mod. I do appreciate it. But yeah, I think I did a really good job on it. Like you could tell it's from Dinosaur King straight away. Anyway. Okay, if you're wondering why there's like fights over here, it's cause, it's cause I did a battle arena like the other day just to empty all these enclosures. Uh, this seems actually... Wait, what? Hang on, Indominus Rex died in the suit of Ceratops. Okay. <laughs> uh, Taurus or the, or the Rhino is dead. Uh, Pentaceratops is over there. That's oh, so we got this guy left. Although this guy's cheating because he's boosted. <laughs> anyway. Last but not least. Ladies and gentlemen. The Sugamimus. Yes, the Sugamimus. I think I had the same difficulty I had with the. Oh, oh! <laughs> there goes the car. That I had with the Super Saurus. I just couldn't get a clear enough image of the tail so I couldn't see any of the patterns so I left it like that for now so also I had I had difficulties with the crest as well but I think I did a good job on it and the green as well because green is quite difficult to get right in this game oh the super source is coming over for a super impact oh, oh okay <laughs> he just walked phase through him but yeah other than that I think I did a solid job on this guy Oh. Well, the Sintelosaurus died. Hunted down by Metricamphosaurus. Ooh, hang on, we might get a fight here between Sukumimus. Um, well, Sukumimus didn't have any moves in the anime. Uh, Metricamphosaurus wasn't even featured in it, so... Yeah. Actually, who has better stats? Um, 85 attack. Wow, that's pretty good. 85 attack, 31 defense. No, not that. Yeah, so the Super Mimer should win. It's much... Are you... It has better stats than me. Alright, well then, to have their little power. Let's release. 
the first carnivore, the Alas, well, the Sorofagonax. And yes, I did do some model changes, just, just made some slight edits, just to make it look a bit nicer. Nyam! That car clean out. <laughs> oh, you bugger! This guy has a tendency to destroy cars. Oh, you have a chomp on his tail. Like, car, you think this thing will be able to kill a Camarasaurus? Look, look there. Oh, oh, he's eyeing up Supersaurus. Matt, remember in the anime with the Supersaurus? It's like massive next to like. All the other dinosaurs, it's like foot is like the length of an allosaur. Yeah, not in this game. Oh, oh, Metricamphosaurus wants to fight, but Sukumaima's uninterested. Right, let's release the soup, soup depth suka. It'll be an interesting thumbnail, I think. Uh, should we really see if a... Yeah, let's really see if a carnivore sod it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Carnotaurus. Matrosaurus, Giga, and, me and another man. Oh yeah, also did some model updates to this guy as well. Oh, need to do another one, but they're at the tail. Yeah, just thinned out the yellow a bit, so it looks a bit... Oh! <laughs> what is it with freaking cars? Well, that one got teetotal by Buddy saw a Vaganax. Oh yeah, I haven't changed Mapusaurus because it's perfect the way it is. May do a little bit of work on the underbelly. That's about that. Uh, Mapusaurus. Carnotaurus. Oh, hang on. Yes, yeah, Sukumimus against Carnotaurus. This is a buffed up one. Indeed it is. I made it as strong as a T-Rex, so I should win. Yum. Better win. Yeah, looking at the car now, maybe I made it a bit too black. Maybe I should make it more grey. Yeah. Oh, 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 Sukumimus died to Matusaurus. That <laughs> stood no chance. It's Giganonosaurus versus Metriacanthosaurus. I could say this is like a mini battle arena. I tell you what, would you like me to do like a mini battle arena, like with all the modded dinos so far? I mean, I'll chuck Indominus Rex in so it kills the sauropods. Or would you like, or you prefer me to make more and then? Or would you like me to make like the secret dinosaurs and then do a battle arena? Ah, oh, Camerarosaurus is sleeping. Wow, look at the eye on him. Yum. Well, Metricamphosaurus is dead. Oh, hang on, hang on, oh, hang on. Was Eocarcaria fighting the buddy? Oh, zoom down, zoom down, zoom down, zoom down. Okay, Sukumimus died to... Wait, what? Oh yeah, Mapusaurus. Oh, this one's sleeping. Uh, I think I got the skin wrong. It's supposed to be Carcharodontosaurus, but... Well, I'll just have to fix that when I go when I finish. Oh, oh, the Giga's screwing off against a Carno who's stuck inside the Supersaurus. Oh, I mean the Mapusaurus. Come on, stranger, get it right up. Oh, well, Carnotaurus is dead. Standing no chance against the Mapusaurus. Yum. And it's sort of fagging axe against what's supposed to be Carcharodontosaur. Oh, here we go. Sukumimus against Eocarcaria. Well, Sukumimus... Well, Eocarcaria is overpowered, but Sukumimus should win. Okay, it's even up the score. Oh. Um, maybe the Eocarcaria is going to win. 
Because Tsuka Mimes is so weak in this game. Oh, um, yeah, Eo Karkaria is one. And our souped up Tsuka Mimes lasted two seconds. Yum. Oh. Well, it was a disaster, wasn't it? Right. Well, with the souped up Suko dead, I'm just going to end this session and, well, to get rid of all this riffraff. Well, I need to chuck this guy. Oh, oh, he's got his head stuck. I need to chuck this guy back in there to clean the riffraff up. Super indoor. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this showcase. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new, you want to subscribe. Carry on, feel free to do so. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.